So now we need to make the GUI for the RGB controller. We're going to make a new project, Q2 widgets application. Uh, I'm going to call it serial RGB. Go through that. And I'm going to go with dialog just because I don't need the stuff main window gives me. And I think dialog looks better for this. So uh looks like everything's set up let's go into the dialog and we'll make a quick gui here so we're going to put three labels down first and we'll put them in a vertical layout and then i also want to put down three sliders in a vertical layout so the user is just going to slide those around to change the values. Those laid out really nicely when I put them down. <laughs> Probably have to make it a little bigger. So something like that. We'll call that red LED, green LED, blue LED, and then change that to red label. I'm tired of clicking around, so I'm just going to do all this all at once. Go right alignment and Let's format that. Make it bold, 18, and we'll go all the way to red. Looks good. Go with it. Green LED. So we'll go right alignment. Format that, bold, 18, and green. good and I also need to change the name so green label we'll call this blue label and we'll go right alignment and we're gonna format that so it's bold 18 blue Now we're going to make this a little bigger here. There we go. Let's start renaming these. It's going to be red slider. And on the sliders, the default for min and max is 0 0.99. We need to change it 0 0.255. So that's going to give us all the steps we need for analog write for the LED. So change that to 255 and do the same thing for all the uh, all of the sliders there. So this is green slider. And doing the same thing for the blue slider. And I'm going to put down three more labels that these are just going to say the value it's on right now. 
So let's get this all formatted. It'll say zero, and I'm going to call it red value label. Let's go zero. Okay, it's bold, it's 18, and black. Looks good. Zero. This is bold, 18, and black. And then we're going to call that one green value label. Blue value label. Bold, 18, and black. So that looks good. Let's save it. Uh, I also want to set up the slots real quick. So we'll go to slot. If you're not familiar with slots and signals, signals and slots. Basically, whenever this signal, whichever signal you choose, whenever that signal is issued, if you're listening to it in a slot, the code in the slot is going to run. So if we go to slot, whenever value changed for red slider, whenever that occurs, the code here is going to run. So I'm going to copy and paste that for the green and blue ones. And you see how when I clicked on it, that uh, QT just set that up automatically. QT is pretty cool like that. But we also have to go into the header. So let's go there. You see it also set up the header for the one that we went we used QT to set up. When we copy and pasted, well, that didn't get set up. So we have to do that now. So let's change that to green and blue. And save that. I uh, also need to go back to the dialog and check the size real quick. What's the size? I have it 558 and 163, so I'm going to set it 560 and 160. That looks good. Let's go and run that real quick. Yeah, so I don't have any code running when the value changes, but you see everything's all set up, looks pretty nice. Uh, I guess I could give it a title. Um, I can see I can resize it also, so I don't really like that. I'll just give it a fixed size. Let's go to main. We'll go w dot set fixed size. I think it did 560 by 160. And we'll go w dot set window title. And I'm gonna call it RGB LED controller. So let's run it again, and it should have the title, and we can't resize it. So that's good. That's how I want it. So that's a pretty quick GUI. Let's move into the serial port now.